So I have the Samsung Galaxy S20 right here. And today I want to show you how to boot this device into safe mode. So safe mode is a great troubleshooting step that can help you figure out if whatever bug or connection issue you're currently having has to do with a third party application that you have installed or the Android operating system itself. There are actually a couple of ways we can do this. I like to just tell the phone to restart. And while it's shutting down, I press and hold the volume down button. And I continue holding down the volume down button all the way through the boot cycle. So that's what's actually triggering the phone to go into boot mode or into safe mode. It's from me holding down the volume down button while the phone is booting up. So you can perform this like I did and just initiate the restart and then immediately start holding down the volume down button. Or you can shut the Galaxy S20 off, then boot it back up by pressing and holding the power button. And then as soon as you see this phone start to boot back up, you can immediately begin holding the power button. And I can show you how to do that the same. So we're just going to power off the device. We wait until the device shuts off. Then we press and hold the power button to turn it on. And as soon as we see the device starting to boot back up, Then we're going to immediately let go of the power button. And then we're going to press and hold the volume down button. The result will be the same because again, we're just holding the volume down button while the device is booting up. And you can see we're going to be told that we are in safe mode thanks to this watermark at the bottom left. And if you have a lot of third-party applications installed, you'll probably instantly know you are in safe mode because you're going to see a lot of these application icons turning gray. Even a lot of these pre-installed apps are going to be grayed out because they're technically considered third-party and they're not installed to the Android operating system, the system partition. And these icons are grayed out because we cannot open them. And that's the whole point of this troubleshooting step. We want to disable all of these third-party apps so that we can test our phone and find out if we're still having performance issues, Bluetooth connection issues, battery life issues, overheating issues, anything that seems abnormal that's happening on your phone can sometimes be caused by third-party apps. And instead of having to go through and uninstall them all or uninstall them one by one and test each time, instead we can just boot into safe mode. Safe mode will disable all of these apps on their own so that we cannot open them leaving us with only the first party apps there, which as you can see can still be open. And there are a couple of ways we can boot the Galaxy S20 out of safe mode as well. We could choose to simply restart. So we bring up the power menu, tap the restart button twice. But you're also gonna see that the Galaxy S20 has a notification, a persistent notification while we are in safe mode. And we can simply tap that to get out of safe mode. And really, we're just doing the same thing as going to the power menu and rebooting. We're just restarting the phone. The way the phone knows to boot into the Android operating system regularly instead of safe mode is because we're not holding down that power button or that volume down button. 
since we aren't doing that trigger, the phone will boot up like normal. 